For the preparation of transplanting medium, we take a clean water in a bucket. We select the required bioagents such as azospirillium, phosphate solubilizing bacteria, and trichoderma for this purpose. We then measure out the required quantity of each of the bioagents and add them to water. While adding the bioagents to the water, we make sure that there are no clumps added to the water solution. The required amount of liquid bioagents such as trichoderma is measured and is then added to water. The solution is tired vigorously using a bamboo stick to let all the bioagents mix evenly with the water. A proper mixed solution will have an opaque look. Good quality vermicompost is taken and the bioagent mix is then added to the vermicompost slowly and evenly. Here you can see in the video how the mixture of the bioagent solution is added over the vermicompost. By doing so, it will help to enrich the vermicompost and thereby it will improve the overall health of the soil when it is added in the main field. The vermicompost is mixed thoroughly for the even distribution of the bioagents. In this way, enriching the vermicompost with it will help to improve the physical properties of the vermicompost and it will act as a good transplanting media in the main field. Enough bioagen solution should be added to the vermicompost mixture to make it moist and not too wet and sticky. After the inoculation of the enriched vermicompost is over, we cover the mixture with a plastic sheet and store it away from direct sunlight. The mixture should be kept covered for 7 to 10 days, after which the enriched vermicompost can be applied in the field. The required amount of fertilizers such as MOP and DAP are measured along with the necessary amount of lime. The fertilizers and our lime are sprinkled over the enriched vermicompost and the clumps of the fertilizers are removed or should be broken down into fine pieces. The input should be mixed thoroughly and evenly with the enriched vermicompost.